Hi everybody, it's Tony Tesler. Um, today I want to show you something quick. Um, my stamp club and I, we were working with napkins earlier and I got so caught up in talking to everybody and having a good time, I forgot to show them the one thing that um, I really wanted to. So uh, I'm going to go through, sorry for the mess if you can see any of this because um, I've been, you know, at this for several hours. Once the creativity gets going, it's, everything's all over the place. Um, but so I'm going to walk you through a basic, uh, nap, napkin card, which is what we were doing earlier. And then the extra step is, um, I want to add some clear embossing to the whole thing. And that's what I forgot to tell my girls. So, um, I've got my napkin here and when you do a napkin card, you want to pull all the plies apart. Um, let me see. I've got one here. So you pull your napkin, unfold it. And they generally have two or three plies. And you want to get rid of those extra plies because that'll come up. So the tricky part is usually getting these separated. Um, and if you have a hard time, you can use some tape sometimes. Like I've got some tape that I've, um, you know, got most of the sticky stuff off. Just kind of pull these back and forth and it should separate them. There we go. All right, so see how that started? And then I'm gonna pull this tape off and I don't care that that got messed up. So you wanna gently pull these layers apart. Let me flip this over. All right, and it looks like this one is just a two ply, which is good. Um, cause then I don't have to mess with it anymore, but if it was three plies, you would have to get that second extra layer off. All right. I'm just going to pull this off. All right. So that is your first step is getting all the plies off. And I'm going to put this away cause I'm going to use that for a different one. I've already done that with my leaf piece here. And you can see there is, um, it's lighter on one side than the other. This is the top. So then you need uh, adhesive and cardstock. So my cardstock, I use white um, just because it, it'll show through. You know, you'll the napkin gets pretty see-through. Um, and any color would, you know, make it look weird. Um, then I've got the adhesive sheets. And these come like, I don't know, 6 by 12 or five and three quarters by seven and three quarters. Okay. And those might be from a couple years ago. I don't know, but some kind of adhesive sheet or you can use glue sticks. Okay. And you peel this up. If I can get it, get a little bit going. Oh, uh, I forgot about that. Jeez. All right, so with these, I peel that little part off the edge that I forgot about, and I'm gonna line this up on this side of the paper. And then I peel this bigger piece off and push it across with my fingers. And then you wanna give it a good rub. You know what, I was used to, before I was using this older stuff, and that's, um, that didn't have that good edge. Okay, so cardstock, sticky stuff. Now we're gonna peel this other sticky layer up. And I don't know if you can see these glue dots, like this is really, a good adhesive across the whole sheet. I don't want to touch it too much. Eh. Okay. Now, if your um, napkin has a pattern like words or direction or something, you're going to want to be careful that you get things straight. Now, some people put the napkin down face down and put the paper on top. I like to do it this way mostly. And I'm just going to, this pattern doesn't matter. So I'm just going to drop it on here. Um, so like I was saying, uh, some people may want to put the 
the napkin face upside down and lay the paper on top. I just like to have my paper down on the table, the glue side up, and I'm just going to put this down right on it very carefully. Now, this pattern, like I said, this one doesn't matter. It doesn't have a direction. Then you want to smooth out all your wrinkles as best you can. And uh, somehow I've got glue in my hand. Okay, now this part, I'm just gonna give this a quick trim because I am gonna cut this down a little bit more. You just wanna go right up to the edge. Um, you can fold this over, these extra hang off bits and you can you know tape it down like this around and do your corner. I don't bother with any of that. All right, so I'm just rough trimming this. So like I said, I am gonna trim this down. I cut this piece to um, five and a quarter by four, but that's the layer that I want for my, my color layer that's gonna go under it, you know, my mounting layer. All right, so at this point, we would trim this up nice and uh, mount it on our cardstock layers and do some doodads, you know. Um, but this is the part I forgot to tell my stamp group earlier. So for an extra razzle dazzle, you're gonna need some clear embossing powder and your Versamark, and we're gonna emboss this whole thing. Now, if you had um, iridescent ice or something sparkly, like sparkly and clear, some people also do this and they add glitter, like a whole thing of glitter. I just like it sometimes with the clear, just cause it adds um, another, like, you know, it's more shine, adds a little more, more dimension. All right, so let's put this on here. And, hmm, I don't have a spoon, so let's use a piece of cardstock. Now I'm just trying to keep this contained. Normally I'm not as uh, picky about this, but since it's a little large piece, I want to contain the powder. Okay, so let's see if I can keep it all together. Let me put that little bit up. All right, so this is good. Let me put that off. Let me get this powder back in the container before I spill it, because that has happened. Of course, I bet that's happened to everyone. Okay. Lid, 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 right here. Now, since this is clear and I was doing like a total cover, ugh. I wasn't too worried about, I just wanted to make sure it's all covered. And it does look, um, if I tilt it, it looks kind of like peach fuzz. So that means I got it all. All right, so time out while I heat this up. Okay, so that is just another level of shiny goodness. And you can even go maybe two or three more times if you wanted to, um, you know, do the thick, extra thick. You make it a couple layers. But I like this. You can still see some of the texture from the napkin coming through that. It's not like a complete solid sheet of ice looking. It. So I like it. I'm going to leave it like this. So um, I want to trim all this. And like I said, my layer is going to be five and a quarter by four. So I want this down um, five and a quarter. I like it down three sixteenths of an inch. All right. 
And that I was just trying to get a straight edge. So four, I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna go around. All right, five and a quarter minus three sixteenths. So that's five and one sixteenth. And then four minus three sixteenths is three and thirteen sixteenths. All right, let's get these bits out. And here's my layers that I already cut. Um, hopefully that adds up. Yep. It's a little sturdier too when you emboss it. And why do I feel like something's coming up there? Oh, there's something was stuck to it. All right, where's my glue? So I'm just gonna use liquid glue on this. And put it right on the early espresso. And I'm just gonna hold this in place for a minute. And when I get this put together, I will bring another card in that I made with the same napkin. And you can see, cause I did not emboss it. And you can see the difference. All right, so that's good enough. Now this one, I already stamped a greeting. Um, <laughs> like I said, my table got to be a mess. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna keep this pretty simple cause I want the focus on this napkin. Um, but I do want to add, mm, mm, mm. want to add a little bit, uh, this is old chocolate chip grow grain. And I just want to put a little knot of ribbon. All right, so let's mount this. And I can tell I got some, I have some embossing powder on my work surface. Uh, not the end of the world. All right, hold this. Yeah, and I'm just gonna glue this down. You could use glue dots. Um, I'm afraid even dimensionals because of the embossing, the dimensionals might pull up. I'm not quite sure. But I like this liquid glue good enough, so that's that. All right, I do want a glue dot for my ribbon bit though. So pretty simple, um, but we really had fun with these napkins today. The idea was, so we all, there's eight or nine of us, we all shared napkins, we all mailed each other a couple of different napkins, so we had a huge variety. Ugh, I'm not real happy with where that ended up. All right, well, it's stuck now. Um, I do wanna add some gold gilded gems or something, something, yeah, brighter. Maybe just two, maybe a big one. Mm, there and a little one right there. I like it. Not too involved, but still pretty. Now let me bring this up. So I don't know if the shine, if you can catch the shine and the, the texture of the napkin under there. I don't know if that's picking it up in the light. Um, but let me bring this other one in. Actually, I'll show you all the ones I made today. Um, so this same pattern, one of the panels had, you know, we I unfolded the napkin and the top one panel, the top panel had these gold veins on it. So this is the same, let me see. I think that's in frame. Um, this is the same napkin but can you see that the one, this one is shinier, the one on the right-hand side, but I love them both. So, but that is just an extra little tidbit you can do for your napkin cards is emboss them. All right, and actually, yeah, before you go, so that's the other one I made, same napkin, just added some old ribbon. 
This was um, a turkey ribbon, so two of the panels had turkeys, so they're just, you know, I had to make one face in the, they're facing each other. But all I did, it's like, this takes center, sta center stage. It's just the, the greeting, and I added one little gem. And this one, I added some other ones. But this border, that was right on the napkin. Totally cool. Then I made some 5 by 7 ones. And uh, this was a napkin I had from last year. I really like that. And then I made a couple with, um, I had this plaid napkin. And uh, then I got these wood bits. This was stuff that you like scatter on your table for decorations. They're little wooden leaves. And I thought they would be cute for making cards. Oops. So I did that. Grateful. And another big one. Again with this background. I love the plaid. And then I did a 5 by 7 with uh, the same napkin that I just used for you. So just an idea. Emboss it. Make it a little shiny. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you later. Bye.